All right, I wanted to put together this short video on this new zone offense we've been trying out, and it has worked um, really well in practice, but we haven't done it in a game yet. So that will be the uh, determination of how well it does. But so far, it's promising. Um, right here, we call it the two five diamond, two popper zone offense. And what's different different about this than the other zone offenses we were using is we take the third handler. We usually have three across here, one, one in the middle, one over here. And we stack them behind the popper. What this, the first popper, okay, that guy's the popper. So what this does is it frees up a guy in the middle of the field who no one's on him. Uh, pardon me, pretend there's a defender down here. I didn't get that on there. It must have came off. So we're going to call this guy the Z, got the Z popper. So normally what we would do, and when I started in uh, in coaching and in playing zone, we would do like three across the back, and then three across the middle, and, and then one deep, and it'd be a popper. What happened with that is it was easy for teams to force us side to side, uh, east and west, and it was hard to go north and south. We had to go one pass, two passes three passes and then a lot of times this guy um, wouldn't cut in time and so basically it had to go back and back and back so what this does is it basically is a right-handed swing so think of this regular you go you swing here and then swing here okay you swing here and then this Z guy comes in like this straight in like that so this guy and we're going this way all right you got that and this is the wind that represents your eighth defender uh, on the defense side remember there's an X there all right so what what you need is a guy with a good uh, flat forehand that can zip it in to the Z cut right here boom also he has the guy on the outside so what we uh, we, we started to do is we had three across the back and then we went to a diamond okay and what that did is it was able to move our wingers in farther so they could start out here and, and push to the outside on the swing. And that was uh, working really good, but you still had to get two or three passes to get to the outside. So with this, you get one pass and one pass and you've broken the whole defense up. Now on this side, you need a, a guy with a good lefty forehand or a guy with a good backhand. So it would, it would swing and then the cup's moving over here. And, you, and this Z popper has to come back and pop. He can't run straight across the field. He's got to get back in position and, and, and clear this out. Because this guy, if, if he gets, say he comes over here, say there's a swing here. And it, he's looking here, but he can't get there for some reason. Or these guys get over. Now if he's here, if he tried running straight across for this other swing, this guy could step into the lane and pick it up. So he's got to go back out and then, and then make a popper cut. Popper cuts are just straight in and out, in and out. So you, you pop in to this area, and then you pop back out and into this area. So let's just take the example of what type of player the Z player needs to be. The Z player needs to be a player that can think. So when he gets it, he's going to be wide open, uh, and he's not going to have anybody on him. If we have a defender here, this and the Z thrower just throws up, 50-50 uh, with the wind, that's not good. We need to work this outside. So as soon as he gets it, these guys head downfield, maybe in like this, a nice little backhand right here, okay? Then now this guy could set up a cut into the corner, all right? Or you could just go give and go, boom. Here he goes here, boom, give and go, boom, give and go. This defender comes off of a, off of our long guy, boom, we got a, a good guy in the end zone the same way here. So the Z has to have some patience and has to, to not just look up and throw the 50-50. So look what we have here. These All these zone guys are coming up, and they're, they're pushing up this way. So if we break it here, that means this popper can come back for a, a, a run by. So he's open. There's no one on him, and these guys can cut open. So essentially we have one, two, three, four, almost a five on one 
can be created if these guys know what's happening and they see this and they take off. So this guy gets it, boom, it's here. Uh, the other way, if it's over here, here. So also that the wingers are going to be open. So say we, we get this pass off a few times, these defending wingers are going to push in and that should open up the side. So let's just take it. So we get a swing pass over here, a quick swing pass. And then there's two spots, this guy and this guy. And if, and if you pump fake here, this guy could be open right there. Boom. And if he gets it, now there's a, there's a Z guy that you can cut right down the line and catch that next pass with nobody around him. And uh, I just get a feeling that this is going to break things wide open, especially on teams that try to play zone with not much wind. So that's the first first part of the video. Now the second one we're going to talk about uh, different ways to break a zone using uh, blades and hammers. So one way is say that, you know say we get trapped up here on the corner. Well, a good blade a guy with a good blade could throw it all the way over to this guy because this guy will be pinched in, you know, once it ends that corner. On the other side. A variety with a good hammer can hit this guy in this flat area, and then uh, this guy can go deep and cut in the corner. So that's a little more advanced. We're going to start out with this and try to hit the Z guy. Do give and goes, or just put it out in front of him. You know, put a nice pass out in front of him and head down towards the cone. You're not going to have anybody on you. If this guy jumps on this guy, then our popper is going to be wide open um, for a dump. That's it for now.